Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan and today we're going to be sharing a recipe We who's we today? I'm gonna to be sharing a recipe that is like something of my childhood whenever Vietnamese people get sick they make Dao, which is like a rice porridge. A lot of people are more familiar in the Chinese form, which is kanji. There are different variations of this dish um, across a bunch of different Asian cultures. This is just what I'm familiar with. You can have it whatever way you want. The version that I have made is this very appealing mush soup stew stuff. There's different versions of it in Vietnamese culture. The one that I'm like most familiar with is it's like chicken heart kanji or like chicken heart porridge or whatever. It's more like soupy. It's like a thinner texture. It's like you can like slurp it. Whereas this one is like a very like hearty, goopy, oatmeal-y, porridge -y texture, which is kind of what I prefer. The one that I grew up with, like that's like a variant of this version is just straight up plain rice. It was just rice and water and you cook it and then you eat it with either pork floss or salted like pickled egg or it's like salted egg. It's just like a really really salty egg and you have like a little teeny tiny piece with a big scoop full of rice and that's like what we eat when we're sick. It's like the Vietnamese equivalent to chicken noodle soup. It is so unbelievably good. I'm just gonna have a bite because I'm like so hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm just gonna have some. It's so good! Anyway, enough yabbering. Yabbering? Enough jabbering? Enough talking? I don't know. Let's just jump right into the recipe. To a large pot over medium heat, add about one cup of soaked green mung beans. These I've soaked about 12 hours ahead of time. I can leave some extra notes if you guys want to do a different variation. Here I've added about 10 cups of water and then two cups of jasmine rice. You're going to add more water later on, but just start off with 10 cups of water. I've added also a little bit of salt. Not too much, just something to get things flavorful. So basically you just cook over medium to high heat until it's on like a kind of a happy boil until the rice starts to break down. You're going to notice that if it gets uh, a little too thick, add a little bit more water. I added about 13 cups of water total and you'll see the rice start to break down just keep stirring just to keep things moving along it doesn't burn to the bottom of the pot and eventually you'll get this perfect consistency right there oh yeah so now you basically turn off the heat and you start making the toppings. Now this is the best part of this entire dish. I've done a green onion oil, which is kind of like a lazy hack. I basically just chop a bunch of green onion, add some oil and microwave it for about 30 seconds. You could do this over the stove too if you don't want to use microwave, that's totally fine. Um, this is just my easier hack to do it. Now you spoon out all the delicious porridge into a bowl. Three scoops is actually quite a bit. If you're super hungry, do three scoops. But if you're not, I would recommend just two scoops. Here I've added some white pepper. White pepper is kind of like a sweeter spice than black pepper, but you can use whichever one you want. I just prefer to use white pepper there. And this is vegan pork floss. I found this from Kensington Market uh, at King's Cafe. I think they might have rebranded the place, but this is what the packaging looks like. I just had to remove from the packaging because there was like a hole in the bottom. Um, but as you can see, it was $6. It actually comes with a lot of vegan pork floss. And these are the ingredients on the back in case you were wondering. It's so Salty, it's savory, it's really good, and I think that it's pretty delicious. So I add a little bit of that. Then I start adding my green onion oil. Now, if you don't want to use green onion oil, if you prefer fresh green onion, you could just use fresh green onion and use a little bit of toasted sesame seed oil instead. That is also super delicious, but this is your bowl of porridge. You can do whatever you want. I've added some soy sauce, which is my golden mountain seasoning sauce on top. And this is just basically giving the whole bowl flavor because it's pretty bland otherwise. And then I add the best part, which is Chinese donut, AKA fried bread. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called in Vietnamese, but this is also in Vietnamese as well. And as you can see, it is vegetarian. It's actually vegan. I like to slice it up and then toast it for a little crisp flavor and you just add it onto your bowl and it adds a bunch of different delicious texture. And there you have it, delicious comfort food. So if you guys want the recipe, it's down below. It's also in the corner. Um, I also have a version without the mung bean. If you want just like the plain version, I'll link the recipe for that one down below as well. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you want more videos from yours truly. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye.